Good afternoon, gardeners. It's Friday, June 11th, and we're in peak summer heat here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. Earlier in the year, I planted two crops of onions. The first crop was planted from onion sets. The second crop was planted from onion seed. So now I'm going to show you the direct comparison between both crops and show you why I am never going to grow onions from sets again, and I will only be growing onions from seed from here on out. Probably the most popular and common way that backyard gardeners grow onions is by purchasing onion sets. So what's an onion set? An onion set is a little tiny onion bulb that is about one inch in diameter, and they commonly start showing up at garden centers in early spring. So how's an onion set made? Well, the way that they make an onion set is a gardener somewhere will plant onion seed into the ground. They will wait for the onion seed to germinate and then they will swell into onions. And then once the bulbs are about one inch in diameter, maybe about two to three months later, they will dig up those onion bulbs. They'll cut the tops off. They will store them in a cool, dry place. The onion bulbs will go dormant. And then once they go dormant, they'll package it up and they'll sell them to you. And you'll usually buy them in a pre-made bag or you could go to a seed supply place and you'll buy them by the pound. I think the reason why onion sets are so commonly planted and they're so popular is because they are believed to be much earlier and a shortcut to growing onions. Rather than start from a little tiny onion seed that's about the size of a poppy seed, you start with this nice one inch diameter bulb and you simply press your thumb into the ground. Uh, you plant them a couple of inches deep. You space them every three to four inches. And within about seven to 14 days, your onions are going to start breaking ground. And it really is no more challenging than that. This bed of onions that you see right here were all grown from sets and I planted these in the ground on November 1st, 2020. So basically about seven and a half months ago. So now I'm gonna take you in for a closer look and you can see how these onions performed. The first thing that you'll notice is that all of the tops are nice and lush and green. Everything in this bed looks very healthy. Uh, the next thing that you'll notice is that these onion bulbs are just starting to bulb in many cases. Let me take you in for a closer look. So this onion all the way over here on the right seems to be forming a really nice bulb. I'm happy about that. Uh, this onion right here, I'm starting to get some bulbing, but it clearly needs some more time. This onion right here is showing little to no bulbing just yet. So that definitely needs a lot more time. And then this one right here, starting to show a nice healthy bulb. This one is pretty close to harvest. And this is what I'm seeing overall on this onion bed. Some of them appear to be about ready for harvest. Others appear to have not been swelling any bulbs yet and need some more time. One of the biggest challenges that you will find when it comes to growing onions from sets is inconsistency. And that's what I'm seeing in this bed right now. While I should get a good harvest out of this bed, you're clearly seeing some inconsistent bulbing. And I think that's because onions are biennials. Biennials are plants that have two year life cycles. In the case of the onion, the first year the onion will germinate from seed, it will grow its roots, and it will swell its bulbs. The second year, the tops will go to flower and seed, and the second year is its seed production year. We as humans want to eat the bulbs of the onions, so our goal is to harvest the onion at the ideal time during its first year once the bulbs swell. It's this biennial nature of the onion that can make them challenging to grow at times for gardeners. That's because, as I mentioned before, those onion sets that you bought, they were started from seed and they were dug up and they were put in storage to go dormant. So every now and again, you may plant the onion bulbs and it may trick the onion bulb into thinking that they're now on their second year. And if you plant those onion bulbs and they think that they're on the second season, they actually won't bulb properly at the proper time they will try and go to seed on you. So I think that's why you see these inconsistent bulbing patterns in all of my onions that are planted from sets. That digging up kind of throws off the time clock of the onions and they're not in sync, they're not in harmony. So you have to hope that the onion is going to match up with the day length cycle of the year. And that's the real challenge of growing the onions because you have to grow onions with a day length that is uh, sufficient for where you live. There are long season, intermediate season, and short season onions. And I'll make sure to link to a video above that is a complete guide for growing onions from sets because you absolutely have to plant the right appropriate varieties of onions for your location. 
I have to grow short season onions, but you may need to grow intermediate or long season onions because it's the day length in June and July that determines when the onions are going to bulb. So you have to grow the appropriate varieties. The other challenge to growing onions from sets is the cost. Generally, onions from sets may cost four or five dollars a pound. So it will take a couple pounds of onions to probably grow, uh, plan out this entire bed right here. So generally growing onions from sets is a bit more expensive than growing onions from seed. So now I'm going to take you over to my seed grown onion patch and show you how they performed relative to these grown from sets. In this bed, you'll find all of the onions that I grew from seed. The first thing that you will notice is that all of these onions are ready for harvest. They have completed the bulbing stage and all of the tops have died back, so they are ready to be picked. Now it may come as a surprise to you that I actually started these onions from seed in December 2020 in six cell seed starting trays and I didn't plant these out into my garden until January 24th, 2021 when the onions had about that same one inch diameter bulb in the seed trays. So despite the fact that my onion sets had almost a three month head start versus these seed grown onions, these seed grown onions are ready an entire month beforehand for harvest. Now how can that be? The short answer is I'm not entirely sure and I can't be sure for a hundred percent fact but I do have a theory and that theory ties back to the biennial nature of the onions. Because the onion sets were dug up in the middle of their growth phase their circadian rhythm was probably all messed up so when they got put back into the ground they were probably unsure of where to devote their energy, so they split it between growing onion tops and trying to go to seed and also growing the bulb. These onions that were grown from seed had no such confusion. They knew exactly what time of the year is and exactly where to put all of their energy. So they put 100% of their energy the first year into the bulbing phase as they should. This is the biggest reason why I want to grow onions from seed from now on. Onions grown from seed will never have confusion regarding their biennial nature. They will always follow the calendar properly as long as you grow the appropriate short, intermediate, or long day varieties for your environment. Growing onions from sets is more of a gamble because you don't know how the sets are going to react and whether they will fall properly into the calendar year as they should. The second thing that you'll notice is the consistent bulbing of the onions. While some onions did grow larger than others, it's clear to see that they all bulbed at the same time. And I think that that goes back to the biennial nature of the onions. These seed grown onions were not confused because they weren't dug up in the middle of their life cycle. You can see right here compared to my fist, the size of the onions. So all of these onions look like they're somewhere in the two to four inch diameter range, which is a really nice size onion. So I'm very happy about that. And the third and final thing is the difference in price. It probably would have cost me about $10 or more to get onion sets and plant out this entire four foot by 10 foot raised bed. But you see this, this pack of onion seed right here? It costs $2.29 and guess what? It's still mostly full. This $2.29 packet of seed could have planted out this entire onion bed probably. So that's a big cost saving. So growing the onions from seed, not only do you get more consistent bulbing and you don't get that confusion in the calendar year where the, where the onions want to bulb at different times, but it's also a lot more affordable to plant your onions from seed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and harvest my best and largest set grown onion and compare it to the onions that I grew from seed. Now I check my entire beds over and I have both red and yellow onions growing in here and none of the red onions are ready for harvest yet all of the bulbs are too small but here i have one really nice yellow onion that i think is ready i'm gonna pull this baby out of the ground right now ah look at that guy right there this is a beautiful looking onion so here is our absolute best set grown onion let's compare it to the onions grow from, grown from seed and you can see these are very close to being the same size. All of these are ready for harvest, and these are quite beautiful looking onions. Now this is not a perfect apples to apples comparison because these are different varieties. I do not know what these set varieties are because I purchased them in a big seed bin at a local uh, small business seed store. So I can't be sure exactly, but you can get a really good example as to how much more uniform and how much uh, easier the seed-grown onions are to grow. 
And as you can see, these seed grown onions are just fantastic. It took a lot of work to get this one really nice onion grown from a set, but all of these seed grown onions are big and beautiful. This is even larger than the set grown onion, despite the fact this has been in the ground for four months less, if you can believe that. So if you ask me, the seed grown onions are the way to go. There is a much higher rate of success, a much lower rate of failure, and you don't have to worry about the biennial life cycle of the onion getting disrupted by being dug up. So here I have just an incredible harvest of all of these seed grown onions. So I am just thrilled, pleased as punch. Now one of the positives of my onion sets overall not performing very well is that at the very least, all of my onions didn't come to harvest at the exact same time. So I can stagger my harvest some. However, if all of your onions are suddenly ready at once, it's not a big deal to store them because onions can store for many months when you keep them in a cool, dry, dark place. So I'm going to show you a way that you can store your onions that's very simple. So I'm going to take these simple large organza bags that I have linked in my Amazon storefront and I'm going to fill these full of onions. And these are mesh bags that are usually used as party favors and weddings. Um, they hold things. If you've ever thrown rice at a wedding, they usually put them in organza bags. So you fill them up. They're completely mesh and breathable. You tie them up like this, and then I'm going to simply hang the onions up to dry, and I'm going to use one of these double tomato hooks with twine that I also have linked in my Amazon storefront that I use to prop up my indeterminate tomatoes for this. So the twine right here hangs down, and then I'm going to take one of these plastic tomato clips that clips onto the double tomato hook. And then once that plastic clip is wrapped along the double tomato hook, I'm going to just hang this organza bag off of it like that. And then the organza bags will provide ample airflow for the onions to dry. So now our onions are all bagged up, tied up, and ready for storage. And if you have a cool, dry place to store them in, like a cool, dry, dark garage or a cool, dry, dark basement, they can keep for many months. Now, if you're like me, I live on the Carolina coast where we don't have basements because of the high water table, and there are no such things as cool, dry places anywhere at this time of year. So I'm going to let them hang here for probably a week just so all of the dirt dries, and then I'm going to bring them inside and store them in my relatively cool, dry pantry. I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on these daily to make sure it's not too humid and that they don't start to go bad. So a week may even be aggressive if you live in a humid place you're going to have to play it by ear and bring them inside as soon as the dirt on the outside dries and they look pretty good for storage. So there are my results of my experiment of growing onions from seed versus growing onions from set. And long story short, I found out that the onions that were grown from seed matured more quickly, they bulbed more reliably, and they were a whole lot cheaper. So for my time and for my money, I'm never going to be growing onions from sets again. I will only be starting my own onion seed. Now the last thing I want to tell you is that if you are going to grow onions from seed, you need to start them in trays. Do not direct sow your onion seed because it's only about the size of a poppy seed and it germinates like a little tiny grass clipping. So they tend to lose when they're germinating next to weeds or if they're germinating in a mulch layer. You're going to have a lot of failure if you direct sow your onion seeds. So always start them in a controlled environment. Start them in six cell trays. And when they get about a half inch to a one inch bulb and they have a nice long green stalk on them, pull them out and then plant them into the ground as transplants. So everybody, I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about any of the products that I use in my garden, they are all linked in the video description in my Amazon storefront. So please make sure to check out my Amazon storefront for some awesome products that will help you garden. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. Oh no. Dale got a pool to play in. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was a terrible throw. No, no, no. Come on, Dale. You're going in the pool. Let's go in, buddy. Come on. Get in that pool, Dale. Go Dale, ahead. come on. Go in. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Up. Up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Get it. Get it. Come on, Dale. Try number two. Come on, buddy. Come on in. Come on, Dale. Come on in, buddy. No, no, it's not a water it's not a water bottle. Come on, come on. Here he goes. Wow. <laughs> come on, Dale. You did it.
have to get splashed. I don't think Dale is ever going to be the water dog you want him to be. No. Bye, Dale. Dale, you're in the pool. <laughs> you're in the pool, buddy. Look, buddy. Dale. Dale, look. Dale. Look. Look at Daddy. Dale, look. Look at Daddy. Such a good boy, Dale. Dale. You're look. hanging out in the pool. You're a hot dog, but you're He's cooling off. Dog. You're doing a great job, buddy. Look, good Dale. boy. <laughs>